It's been a long time since the NBA released the 50 greatest players list. This is the franchise play. 50 greatest players in NBA history presented with NBA 2K12. At number 50, the original big man, George Mikan. Back from the Minneapolis Laker days, George Mikan was the first dominant big man in NBA history. Number 49, also from that same era, Dolph Shays, also one of the most dominant big men of his time. Played his games with the Syracuse Nationals, which are now the Philadelphia 76ers. And number 48, the Chief, part of the three-man awesome front court for the Celtics, Robert Parrish. Number 47, Vince Sanity, half man, half amazing, Vince Carter. At number 46, the man of a thousand fakes, the second part of that dominant Boston Celtic front court, Kevin McHale, one of the best low post players in the history of the game. At number 45, Pistol Pete Maravich, one of the most exciting and explosive scorers in the history of the NBA, NCAA, and as well as the ABA. At number 44, Bob Pettit, another dominant big man from the 50s and the 60s with the Atlanta Hawks, St. Louis Hawks as well as the Atlanta Hawks. At number 43, the Wizard of the Hardwood, Bob Cousy, the point guard for so many of those awesome Boston Celtic championship teams from the 50s and the 60s. At number 42, Rick Barry, one of the best and most underrated players in NBA history from the 70s and the Golden State Warriors. Number 41, one of the most unsung players from the Boston Celtic dynasties, Sam Jones. At 40, Mount Mutombo, one of the most dominant defensive players in the history of the NBA, Dikembe Mutombo. Number 39, Walt Frazier. Slick Walt, Walt Clyde Frazier, one of the best point guards ever. Number 38, Hal Greer, one of the most underrated scorers in the history of the game. Won a championship in 67 with Will Chamberlain. At 37, Zoe, one of the best defensive centers ever. One of the best centers of his era, Alonzo Mourning. At number 36, Willis Reed. He did more than limp out to play Will Chamberlain in the 1971 NBA Finals. Willis Reed had a great NBA career. At number 35, Jesus Shuttlesworth. One of the best, if not the best, three-point shooters in the history of basketball, Ray Allen. At number 34, George the Iceman, Gervin, one of the best scorers in the history of the game. One of the first true users of leaping and hang time to dominate. Number 33, Patrick Ewing, one of the most dominant centers in the history of college basketball, went on to have an excellent NBA career as well. Patrick Ewing. At 32, back-to-back -back MVPs and one of the best pure point guards ever, Steve Nash. At number 31, AI, one of the game's most popular, popular players, possibly the greatest player six foot and under in the history of the game. Allen Iverson. At 30, the best Robin than any Batman there has ever been. One of the best defensive small forwards in the history of the game and all around players, Scottie Pippen. At number 29, a very underrated all around star, Clyde the Glide Drexler from Portland Trailblazer and Houston Rockin' fame. 
at number 28. One of the best pure point guards ever to play the game, the NBA's all-time leader in steals and assists, John Stockton. Number 27, the best international player in the history of the NBA, Dirk Nowitzki. At number 26, The Glove, one of the greatest defensive point guards ever, Gary Payton. At number 25, one of the truly, truly most underrated players in history, The Big E, Elvin Hayes. At number 24, the most prolific scoring power forward in the history of the game, Carl Malone. At number 23, Jason Kidd, future Hall of Famer and one of the best pure point guards in history. At number 22, the Admiral. One of the best centers of his era. Amazing agility and versatility for a seven footer. And number 21, Kevin Garnett. One of the most versatile power forwards and big men, period, in the history of the NBA. Straight out of high school. At number 20, Sir Charles, the round mound of rebound at only six foot six was one of the most dominant power forwards of his or any other era. At number 19, one of the original high flyers in NBA history, Elgin Baylor was so far ahead of his time, he was introducing flight school in the 50s and the 60s. At number 18, one of the pioneers of the preps to pros, Moses Malone, dominant, dominant low post player, in the 70s and the 80s. Number 17, Mr. Clutch, Zeke from Cabin Creek, the logo, the man whose greatness bestowed upon him the honor of being the silhouette by which the NBA logo is based, Jerry West. And number 16, King James. Straight out of high school, with more hype than any player that has ever existed, LeBron has lived up to the hype. Number 15, Hondo, John Havlicek, the greatest six man in the history of the NBA. At 14, D. Wade, Flash, has already won an NBA championship and is already one of the best scorers and defenders at the two guard position in his era. At number 13, the big O, Oscar Robinson. The only man to average a triple-double for an entire season, but the big O didn't just do it once. He averaged a triple-double for four years in a row. At number 12, the diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, the single most dominant force in his era of basketball. Number 11, one of the most underrated guards you'll ever see, Isaiah Thomas, slick, could score, could pass, could create, held his offensive game back for the sake of the team. Number 10, Bill Russell, quite possibly the greatest defensive player regardless of position ever in the NBA, the greatest winner in the history of team sports, 11 rings. Number 9, the big fundamentals, Tim Duncan will probably be underrated because of his less than boisterous attitude, but Duncan is the greatest power forward that ever lived. And number eight, the doctor, Julius Irvin, known mostly for the dunking, but Julius Irvin was a complete basketball player and one of the greatest of all time. Number seven, one of the most complete forwards ever, the greatest passing forward ever, and one of the best scorers, Larry Legend, Larry Bird. Number six, Irvin 
Magic Johnson. In a four-year span, Magic Johnson led a team to a high school state championship, a national championship in the NCAA, and an NBA championship. Number five, Hakeem the Dream, the greatest low post scorer in the history of the game, Hakeem Olajuwon. Number four, Kobe Bryant, the greatest preps to pro star in the history of basketball and the fourth greatest player that has ever lived. Number three, Wilt Chamberlain, the most dominant player ever, regardless of era, period, is Wilt Chamberlain. Number two, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the NBA's all-time leading scorer and author of the most unstoppable offensive weapon in the history of basketball, the Skyhook. And number one, of course, is the greatest of all time, Michael Jordan, the one by which every other player is measured. Peace and thanks for watching.